So if you look here, it's very obvious, especially around the eyes, that she has some of the redness and, you know, the ocular rosacea. So she's got redness and inflammation going on there, which I had um, noticed right away. I remember being quite surprised when you had even heard of ocular rosacea, <laughs> which, which is a diagnosis that I think I got not long before I first contacted you. And I had always wondered why my eyelids were red all the time, why they burned, and why I would get styes, even though I was doing everything that the doctor said. And finally, after two years on doxycycline, two full years, and all the side effects from that, I also wanted some help with, with ocular rosacea. So... You never heard of it. Um, did you, did, was it when you finally went to a doctor or a dermatologist that you finally realized what it was? I was just into an ophthalmologist because I felt like I might need to update my reading glasses, which I did. And she just said in passing, by the way, do you, do you know why you have uh, red rims around your upper eyelids, no matter um, uh, how well you clean them. They're red all the time. And mm -hmm. I said, at it for years. And, and then she told me, and she told me of a treatment that involved um, laser to your eyelids. And I didn't really feel comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one of the things that I take note when I'm actually looking at pictures or when I ask questions is like if they have repeated styes, so not even ocular rosacea, but if they have styes, yeah. they have pustules, mm -hmm. that is a sign of inflammation. If they have mm -hmm. abscesses, the, these are like long-term um, inflammation, usually yes. in the gut. And so then I'll ask, have you ever been on um, antibiotics for long periods of time? Mm -hmm. Because that not only obliterates your bad bacteria, but you're good bacteria too to help mm. fight it. So that was one of the things, that's why I asked you about your diet. Yes. Yeah, so um, it, so how long did you have the ocular rosacea before you went to see the um, ophthalmologist? I probably had it about five or six years. And I, and I had been to a specialist, an eye specialist, who said, well, you need to go on doxycycline, low dose, forever oh i didn't know that yeah yeah so I, I i was on it for a couple of years it didn't get rid of the red lines along my lash line but it did keep the styes under control so now so now what's going on with your eyes because even now i mean your pictures showed that you had like almost no inflammation and you don't look like you have it now. So what is the status now? It's much better. In the last three years, I've had one sty. I've been off antibiotics for maybe two years. Um, sometimes I will notice a little red line just where you would put eyeliner by your upper lashes, mm -hmm. um, but not every day. And it's getting pale it takes a long mm -hmm. time it's not a quick process so finally the moment you've been waiting for Ta-da! this is the after photo so this is so let me see let me refer to my notes here uh, so her consultation was actually in december of last year and these pictures were taken um, in november uh, the or the before and then the after was just recently taken in July um, and so she's been under my care for eight months so if you look at her picture here you will notice that her forehead has she has no more inflammation on her eyes mm -hmm.